The Wright State Raiders are riding a three-game winning streak, two in a row to begin the home schedule. They try to continue their winning ways tonight against Southeastern Louisiana. Jumping center circle for Wright State is Vanderkale, and she will go against Nana Poole. So Vanderkale with a four-inch height advantage as those two meet on the Wright State logo at center court. It is the first ever meeting between Wright State and Southeastern Louisiana. It's the Horizon League against the Southland Conference. The official steps to midcourt. He will send the ball in the air, and this one is underway. Vanderkale tips it to Denham, and Wright State has the game's first possession. Lady Lions come out showing 2-3 zone. Hayes trying to split that zone. Here's Vanderkale. Vogelpohl from downtown. Yes, what a way to start the game. Emily Vogelpohl, the freshman, gives the home team the early lead. Into the game for Southeastern Louisiana, Taylor Underwood, their best player, gets back in there with two fouls against her, replacing Steers. They say that lob pass was tipped by a Raiders defender, so it stays with the Lions with exactly four minutes. Left until halftime, and we've got a foul on the inbound. This is going to go against Simmons, I believe. Simone Simmons called for locking up Underwood, who was trying to run off of a screen. So here's Taylor Underwood, and her first toss is good. Underwood shooting 90% from the line coming in, 9 of 10. So now she's 10 for 11. Can she make another one? She does, tie game. So Underwood, very fundamentally sound player, excellent from the free throw line, good defensively in their 2-3 zone. She's got her team even here with Wright State in the corner. Denham tried to bounce that one to the baseline. It's tipped out of play. Shea Stewart got a hand on it. This is a Wright State team, Justin, that was coming into play tonight, showing up in the... College Insider Mid-Major Top 25 poll, ranked 17th with a new poll coming out this evening, actually. Hayes catches the inbound pass, gives it back to Demings. Around the horn they go, driving baseline. Denham lobbed it in, but Smith can't lay it home. Rebound, Hayes, and a stick back. Anthony Hayes gives Wright State the lead again. What I absolutely love about how they're playing against this zone is that they're not rushing anything. We saw them rush a lot of shots in their last game. Right now, they're doing a good job of getting the ball into the high post, rotating the ball from one side to the other. Here's a steal. Ball got loose on the floor. It is picked up by Denham. Vogelpohl missed. Hayes had it poked away, but Vogelpohl on her second try puts it home, the freshman from Cincinnati's Macaulay High School. 31-27 home team. Come upon three minutes left until the break. Wright State on a bit of a run here late in the half. Hayes grabs the rebound, gets all locked up with Shea Stewart. Stewart hits the deck as the two were jostling for position. And it'll be Wright State ball on the possession arrow. I think Hayes is just the perfect player for this Wright State team. I mean, she's the toughness that she brings to this team and the hustle that she shows is unbelievable. You know, when you're the second best player on a team, you're probably going to be one of the top scorers, but she's not just about scoring. I mean, she's chasing down offensive rebounds. She's going after pretty much every rebound. She's doing it all for this team right now. Vogel pull for three. The freshman, the only freshman in the starting lineup from a class that Mike Bradbury calls his best recruiting class of his career. And she comes up with another big three. Now a steal. Vogelpohl to Demings. Layup. Good and a foul. The Raiders are taking flight here late in the second quarter. It is a 9-0 run in a matter of just about 65 seconds. And Southeastern Louisiana head coach Yolanda Moore has seen enough. She calls a timeout to circle the wagons. Raiders by nine, their largest lead of the game. So it'll be Southeastern Louisiana ball. 2.17 to play. Wright State with a 30-point lead. They've led by as many as 32. If this score holds up, it'll be the largest margin of victory for Wright State this year. They beat Austin P by 21 here on Saturday. 
Last Thursday, a 27-point blistering of Lipscomb. Williams, turn around in the lane. Yeah, J.J. Williams, eight points. 38 seconds to go. Three ball, Simon, she'll hit it. She has the confidence in her shot. She holds her follow through and watches it go in. Very only, confident shooter. Only the second basket for Katie Simon in her collegiate career, and they've both been made threes. 25 seconds to play. Raiders have it. Shot clock is turned off. They can run out the clock. 106 to 72. Wright State setting season highs in several categories. They shot 54% for the game. Justin just a complete domination from the middle of the second quarter on. I think Coach Bradbury is very happy with the way his team has played this week. They're going to be very well tested heading into this weekend's matchups. They will head to the Lone Star Showcase to take on three bigger named opponents. But here tonight, they were not messing around. After a sluggish start, they take care of business and go to 4-1 and one on the year, beating Southeastern Louisiana 106-72. to 72.